There are two worlds. Our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the Storytime. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come, but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams. They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. 
and dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. This music is This music. Hello, and welcome to Sad Dragon Plays Dreamfall Chapters. Now, I uh, decided to be quiet for the intro because it's long, it has beautiful exposition and music, and there really wasn't much for me to add to it, but here we are. Um, I have actually played through the first chapter before. I was trying to record it, and my recording software crapped out. I lost it all, but this is not the sort of series you skip the first bit on, so I might not talk a bunch during this one, I've already seen it, I won't have quite as much, like, um, I won't have quite as much in the moment, you know, surprise driven stuff that I'll say, but I will say that it's just as beautiful the second time around, and uh, at least the puzzles won't take me forever for this book in particular. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? Those lights are people. Spirits. Souls. Whatever you want to call them. Most of them are connected to dream machines. Yeah, trapped in more. spiraling night terrors. I help them escape. But many return. They don't learn. The dream machines are dangerously addictive. People get caught in dream loops. The dream machines are okay, dangerously okay. addicted. Storytime feels more real to me now than the waking world does. There's no end to it. It goes on like this forever. Mountains, valleys, endless plains. A sky full of stars, never changing. It's beautiful, but also so desolate and cold. Like a fairy tale of the dead. I like the aurora. Story time. Okay. The place where all stories begin and end. Including right. my. Da 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 da. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down. Take a skateboard to that line, you build up a lot of speed. According to my chart, I won't be around for long. Dad, Gabriel, stops by every day. He keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. It's a mess. Dad, okay. Gabriel, that machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. 
the latest and greatest in chemical life support. Without magical miracle machine, I'd be stiff and cold and probably all maggoty. Hmm, happy thoughts. The little engine that could. Keeps my brain ticking when the rest of me doesn't. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. I know they mean well, but my hospital room is beginning to look like a memorial. Wonder if anyone even asks themselves whether I'm allergic to flowers. There's just no consideration for the comatose. Wonder if anyone even asks themselves that was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, sort of was. Reza visits a lot. Talks to me for hours. It's good. It's good. Like, we're reconnecting. This is actually a sequel to a sequel of an original game, but the first two games were um, were made and released years and years ago. So, um, and they were made by different producers, uh, so I would not be, I will not be going back and playing them. This is a story that holds up on its own. But then sometimes, I don't know why, it's like he's a stranger, like someone's wearing his skin. Oh, that's, oh, that's weird and sick and it's probably all in my head. Still, I have this vivid memory of the first time he came by and what popped into my head was, that's not Reza. I don't know. It was probably because I thought I'd lost him. I'd spent weeks looking for him. It's how I ended up here, sort of. Maybe seeing him just triggered a lot of feelings. Wonkers. My old Wattilla. Not a gorilla. I don't know why they brought him to the hospital, but I'm glad they did. Wonkers watches over me, night and day. He may be just a toy bot, but there's something comforting about that. Toy bot? Faithful old Wonkers. <laughs> Faithful old Wonkers. Okay. Sleeping beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. I don't know if that's how I actually look out there or if it's just wishful thinking. Everything in here is made of dreams. It's odd. Like looking into a mirror and seeing a stranger. That's me. Beautiful stranger. I hear her calling out for help. She's trapped in a looping night terror. So this is the point where I uh, go help dreamers. And here I am. Where are you? Oh god, no! Oh, that didn't work. I can't grab her, she's falling too quickly. All right, so. So I would use time. Help me! Too quickly. Hold on. Oh God, don't let go! Thanks for, for saving me. Feels like I've been falling forever. What is this place? A bad dream. I'm here to help you wake up. Okay. Okay, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. I could have sworn it was... This feels so real. In a few moments, it won't. You'll forget all about it. But I want you to remember one thing. Stop using that thing, the dream machine. Stop using it or you'll be back, and maybe I won't find you next time, and maybe you'll be stuck in a nightmare forever. Oh god, no, no, I promise I'll remember. Most of them do. Do something else with your spare time. Go shopping, have lots of sex, have take more naps, anything but this. Time to wake up. Thank you. Again. Who are you? Doesn't matter. You won't remember anyway. Just go and never come back.
All right, that's good. That's about. That dream is just total blackness. The absence of light. But there's a light in there. The absence of light except for the lantern with the light. Goodness. I love her outfit. I love the... It's rather simple, but it's a great design. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't... He's absolutely I terrified of the dark. I, I can't go anywhere. It's too as dark. As long as he believes in it, his light will stay strong. The power of the mind. No. Don't. Hey. My Don't come any closer. Misconception to the rescue. Why are you here? Leave me alone. Calm down, the Power stranger. of the mind. All right, that's good. Hey, my superpower. The dark. Misconception to the rescue. It's everywhere. It's getting closer. Oh man, I can't see anything. I can't leave. It's not safe out there. Denver, hush. Come with me. I'll help you escape. What? Who? Who, who are you? You're dreaming. Sorry, I'll help you get back. Doggy. Follow me. As always. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't... I can't move. I can't go anywhere. It's too dark. Just way too dark. Alright, so I figured out that what I do is I mess with the lamp. And I use the power of light. Dreaming? No. That can't. That can't be. This this is too real. Too real. That's because you're connected to a dream machine. If you remember nothing else when you wake up, remember this. The dream machines are dangerous. Don't use them, or you'll get stuck here, and maybe I won't find you again. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'll remember. I swear. I don't. Ever want to come back? I won't touch a dream machine again. That bulb won't last long. It's dark. The dark is everywhere. I have to go back. Back to the light. we go. I have messed with its time. So it's been frozen like that. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. <laughs> I hate the dark. <laughs> I can't stand it. Jeez, that neck. You have a light Everything. within you. It's strong. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. Just stay close, and I'll keep it burning. Just promise me you'll stay far away from dream machines. You right, I can't turn that one on. I'm never connecting to dream time again. Not after this. All right, so. The power of the mind. All oh, right, there. Okay. Hey, Light. my superpower. Oh. Misconception to the rescue. No? Oh, I had to wait for them to stop talking. Okay. Light. Come on, you. Alright. Good. Bad. No. Why? I'm drowning in it. The darkness is swallowing me up. The dark. The dark is everywhere. There's a light inside him, but it keeps turning off. Something's fighting back. It's him. The source of the darkness. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. He's fighting me and he doesn't even know it. He needs to stop or I can't help him. It's happening again. It's happening. The darkness. It's closing in. You're letting your fears control you. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. I feel you. I know, but... and you're feeding it. 
You need to let it go, your fears and worries. You have the power to banish this darkness, remember? The light within you? That's right. The dark makes me forget. I love her voice acting, so just but his is... let it go. Brighten up. Shine for me, you crazy, crazy diamond. diamond. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. You're not alone. I'm here to help you. <sighs> Thank you. Alright, now I get to turn you on. Not like that. Now, your light. Your light on. Turn your light on. Yay! You glowing all happily. And everything else is glowing now, too. Woohoo! See? All this time you carried the light within. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Thank you. Walk into the light. Walk into the... Don't worry. Don't Not worry. that kind of light. You'll just wake up. Go die. I mean, go live. Thank go... You. you know. What is going on out there? It's getting worse. Alrighty. Done and done. What is that? A bedroom. Bedroom. I know what that means. Hentai. I mean. Oh, tentacles. Hentai. I was right. What are you doing? Get away from there. Oh. I wasn't right. Oh. She must be terrified. Poor girl. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance, not more things to be scared of. She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. She needs to be scared of what will happen if she keeps using it. So here's one thing I love about this game is that it's an actual puzzle game with a with a big story el element, but it's also a choice based game, which means hopefully if they did it right, my choices here and and the future ones will make a huge difference later on and that just like I love that. I love that in a game. Repeatable stories, changeable stories. She's already scared, but she needs to understand. It is dangerous and it will hurt you unless we destroy it. I want to go home. And you will. But the way back is through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night and tells me to behave. Or should I unlock it and let the monster have me? That's wonderful Great parenting. Parenting. Don't worry. I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like... A superhero. Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Awesome. Alright. Whoever wired her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. She... She had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Oh, it's too dark. Can't see anything under there. Right. Bingo. Bringer of light, emissary of electricity, the mighty torch. Mighty torch. Why am I talking in a different accent now? So tap for inventory. Torch. Um, use on myself. Aha. Okay. Ooh, key. 
I've got something. A key. I like keys. So what I did there, which I figured out last time I played, is that I had to freeze that the, the monster in place so that it could get attacked by the light without hiding, and then I cleared out the wardrobe. Locked. And locked dream wardrobes don't open without dream keys. There's a logic to it. Good thing I have a dream no, key. No, don't get too close. It will take you. See, it's oh. gone. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe, waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Whatever was in there, it's gone now, I promise. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does Mom's that, jerk. you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never ever use a dream machine. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. He's a hard man to get hold of. The Vagabond. I've been calling him for the longest time. The Vagabond. Finally. I need to have a serious face-to-face -face with that man. The Vagabond. Master of the story time. Sort of. Sort of. The Vagabond. All right. Master of What's the What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and It's too hard. There are too many. And they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. Home? For, for better or worse, this is my home now. This is who I am. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. Whatever's out there, it's no longer my life. All I once had is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. I can make a difference. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. They seem very similar on this one. Home? I'm not going home. No. There's nothing there for me. There's no one. There's no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. But I'm... What's the point? There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome, and my actions have no real consequences, so why bother? I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. I'm scared of losing what little I have left. If, if there's a choice, I, I choose to stay. I'm in control here. I don't have to fear anything or anyone. I'm afraid. I can't do it. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? I'm helping those who are lost and trapped. Who else could possibly need my help? 
This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. I failed once already. I made a huge mess of things. What can I possibly do to change things now? He's asking me to help, but I don't even know what's happening out there. I don't understand why I'm needed. I did everything I could already. I just want to be left alone. Isn't it enough that I... Who needs me? All who live, who have lived, and who will live. Everyone in the world, that's You the saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, good. it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven. But the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. All the more important then for you to remember. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by someone else's rules. No matter what I say, the outcome is the same. This is my choice to make, even if I don't know the consequences. I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. If there's even a tiny chance that my choice will matter, I can't say no. Will it even uh, matter? If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Okay, so I go back, face the world, face myself. I have to believe it's worth the battle. I'm comfortable here because I don't have to make any choices. I just react, touch people's lives without fear of consequence. Why does it have to be me? It feels really unfair after all I went through the last time around. I don't know if I have a choice. I just wish the choice was left to someone else. Someone stronger and better. Someone with faith in themselves. Okay, so what do you need me to do? I want you to wake up and remember. And then I want you to save- Save the world. I did such a bang up job with that the last time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it. And you will wake up. If it's locked, where's the key? You will know. Cryptic? I'm not trying to be cryptic. But I don't have the key. You do. Within you. That was not I'll time. Just have I just to trust you on said that. that. Will I see you again? If all goes well. At the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll um go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. She has a good, good attitude for this. Maybe bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. Good luck. And I'm back here. Back to the pretty cold fairy tale of the dead.
if I'm ever going to find a way out of this place. That's my doorway. Me. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. Alright, so I gotta try to connect my I mind I tried to me. reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. That's not a good idea. I don't know what you call it. The signal from my comatose brain, it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. Alright, boost the signal. The latest and greatest in chemical life. So this is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my idea. veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it will work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... Unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. So... If I slow it down... I can't remember how I did this the first time. If I slow it down, it'll... Up! Oh, there we go. Oh, bollocks. The machine's going nuts. So I think I made oh, it think I that feel my really brain slowed down. The machine's gone haywire. So it it's pumping a crazy me. amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. So, see if I can read the mind now? So, okay. The cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now... Oh, it's too fast. Too jarring. Like... Like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. So I slow it down again. And then I connect. Where do you think you're going? Did you think it, it was going to be that to easy? First time. A quick chat with Mr. Dinner Theatre and then sayonara to story time. Hello, second chances. Don't be a fucking tosser. You're staying here with you're me, nice. doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. What was I thinking? He's right. I can't leave. I have nothing to return to. No life worth living. Being dead is the only thing I'm good at. At least in here, I can make a difference. Is that who I really am? Is she what I've been running away from? I don't want that to be a part of me. I don't want anything to do with her. Yeah, she's kind of a jerk. I'm not going over this again. I've made up my mind. I'm going home. I'm not letting her stand in my way. I've made up my mind. I'm not staying here. Just get the fuck away from me. See? This is why you're stuck. <laughs> you're still rejecting your own self, your Damn past. <laughs> you can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. You think this time it's going to play out differently? <laughs> That's real cute. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I'm not going over this again. I've made up my mind. I'm going home. Home? Sure. Why not? Why not go home? Easy. Oh, but wait. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger, and you lost every single one of them. Everything and everyone you ever cared for is gone. You're right. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. So what this is, is, um... It's sort of like an obstacle course in the form of a conversation, and I really liked it the first time I went through, and I don't remember how I got through it. But some of them will make me have to start over, or at least go back a step, and some of them will actually work and help me go farther. And it's like I'm resolving things with my past self. And I really like how they how they did that. Having a conversation with me so I can get to a place mentally where I can make myself Maybe make, she's wake right. Up. Maybe she's not. Me, us, whatever this is, part of me agrees with her and part of me just wants to find out for sure. We 
We can't know what's waiting for us on the other side, but so what? That's life, full of surprises. So it's not perfect. What is? I've grown. I know how to appreciate what's there now, what I have, instead of complaining about what I don't. It's not true. It's not all gone. Whatever is out there, there's a chance to rebuild, a chance to take back what was lost, a chance to do it again and do it better. She's right. We don't have a home to go back to. We've lost everything. I want to find out. Maybe she's right. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm going to find out for certain. <laughs> nice retort, big sister. Did you rehearse that one? Yes, no. What did you call me? Touch a nerve, did I? That was you. You were there. You said goodbye to Faith. It's not for you to mock and use against me. That was never me. You left me behind before that. You ignored your true self and pretended to be a hero. Like that was ever going to stick. No, not a hero. A grown-up. Unlike the whiny bitch I used to be. <laughs> nice. But, you know, Sometimes. that's okay. I accept who I was. I accept you. Oh, spare me the bullshit. You're lying to yourself. You don't want anything to do with me. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. Oh, yeah? And... And who is that? Put on Tumblr too much. I just want to be like, Now kiss! No! No. So, recent decisions have had short-lasting effects, I guess, like, with the conversations and stuff. Um, I guess that's more for gameplay in order to feel better. I don't know if they actually, how much they affect the thing, but this is a decision point that it like takes a completely different branch in the story. I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. There was certainty in that. I don't know why I lost faith in who I was and who I wanted to be, but it's time to find my way back. I used to know where my life was supposed to be heading, but I'm not sure that's where I want to go next. And that's fine. I'm ready for a change. So this is like me resolving something with myself and it's either wanting to return to what I used to be or wanting to find something new. Considering the fact that I used to be a bitch in the game. Yeah, I used to be awful. I really feel like I used to know I when something new. And I changed the balance. I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. We need each other. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. My name is Zoe Castillo. And I'm alive. That's the end of book one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all. Nope, nope, nope. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment, and check out my other videos. Sad dragon out.